Okay, guys, welcome back to Ekureku TV. Now, very quickly, I want to give you guys update on what's been happening for this uh, few days now. Um, a Nigerian guy has been arrested in the capital of Italy, which is in Rome, and they said that the guy was walking naked. <laughs> um, I don't know whether if uh, people after taking some of these things that um, they are taking, they go mental. You know, when you take all this uh, combination of things, and I. In order to boost the quantity of some of these things, they might add something that is not even related to what they want to give you to sniff. Um, I think is the problem here. They say he walks uh, naked under the porticos of uh, Termini, a Nigerian arrested by Roma Capitale. Mm, what, a, what a pity. So people must respect themselves. They said that last afternoon, not even just that alone, we also have another video there, here, where they said that cost dealing with hashish, Nigerian push arrested. So why are you guys disgracing us like this? You people should know that this country called Italy is full of police. Their police know the rest. And let me tell you another thing that you need to know is that all the old people in Italy who have been civil servants in one way or the other, who have worked and now resting in their homes, their windows are always working 24-7. It is not only the street cameras that you have that are reporting your cases to the police. These who they did them, the people we call who they did, those old people, those advanced people in their homes, are uh, using their windows to spy you. That is why you need to be careful. You don't need to be committing crimes because they will catch you. They will definitely catch you. If they are not watching from here, they are not. They are watching from here. So how do you think they get? They get. <laughs> they get tips. <laughs> so you think? Oh, because they are now on pension. They are now sleeping. They take activities. They take walks. They walk around. And the way they are walking, you think they are not seeing you? They are seeing you. So when you are doing your backyard businesses and giving these things to your guys or selling, they are no, they know, they report and give. Some of them have spy cameras moving up and down, but you don't know. So you need to be careful out there. Now, last afternoon, as part of the anti-degradation activity to protect urban safety in the area of Termini Station, and they... Esquilino District, officers of the local police of Rome Capital, the GSSU, Social and Urban Security Group, okay, arrested for a resistance and injury to a public official, a 28-year-old man of Nigerian nationality who, in a visible state of alteration, alter, alteration, sorry, alteration, was wandering Naked under the arcades of Piazza dei Cinquecento, disturbing passerbys and railing against the patrons of a bar. Do you see somebody who is, I don't know whether the person don't go mental or colo, you know, because this room sometimes the room does not really portray the, the attribute of a, <laughs> a capital. Even I, when I visited last time to the, at the train station, it was it was something else. You, when you get to the inside the train station, it's very neat. But when you come outside, there is a place that is very smelly there, um, outside the train station. So I'm wondering what's going on there. And you see a lot of people who are homeless having these problems or the other. You know, so I think the government needs to clear these people and find solution to all these uh, homelessness and all that. It's not uh, giving the capital a nice look. Rome is not having the, that look that it's supposed to have as the capital of Italy. Rather, Milan itself is even better than that room. All right. Now, the operating staff promptly intervened to restore a climate of decorum and safety in the area, initially trying to reassure the man. So when the police came, you know, when they drive there, they, they will always tell you to calm, 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 calm down, you know, respect yourself, cooperate with the police and all that. But the man wasn't giving a listening ear to these people. Given the continuation of his violent attitude, 
even towards his compatriots to the point of lashing out verbally and physically against the officers. He was arrested and subjected to identification procedures and he did not have any document or identity document. Yesterday, the trial, during which the 28-year-old had to answer to the judicial authority for the crimes of resistance and injury to a public official. Now, they don't sentence him to prison. Make you go there, go learn. He will learn the hard way for causing nuisance, for constituting nuisance in the public space. And when the police officers came, it became another issue. He never wanted to listen to them. He never calmed down. Rather, he began to fight them and he even uh, wounded some of the officers, you see. Very, very sad indeed. That is not the reason why you came to this country. It's not to take uh, anything. You came here to hustle. You came here for a better life. But quite unfortunate that a lot of people would, after passing through hell and uh, hellfire to get to Europe, you end up committing another crime that will even put you in chains or even send you back to where you are coming from. So what's the essence of all the stress you pass through to get to Europe? Use your number six. Now, caught dealing with hashish, Nigerian pusher arrested. They said that the pusher was selling a dose of hashish to a young girl from Isania. A Nigerian pusher um, um, arrested by the carabiner in Isania was caught selling doses of hashish to a young woman from Isania in exchange for 50 euros. Immediately blocked and searched by the military, that is the carabinieri. Okay. The pusher was found in possession of the money he had just received, while the girl identified and searched was found in possession of the doses just purchased and was reported to the prefecture of Isania. The drugs and the 50 euros were seized. Uh, why the pusher whose responsibilities we have to be ascertained during the subsequent trial was transferred to the Isania prison at the disposal of the public prosecutor's office. Now, some people we hear, oh, some people are missing. My friend, uh, I just spoke to him. I've not heard from him after uh, speaking to him. These are the issues that uh, lead to all this. Now imagine if your friend or your brother was in another city and he's doing this kind of business unknowing to you. One day, hand may meet him and you will just, you know, cease to see him. His phone number will stop going and you begin to wonder what has happened to him or her. Maybe in one year or six months time, he, the person will reappear again. I've known a lot of people who, if you call them today, their numbers are not going again. So why, why doing all these uh, businesses? Because for, for fast money. I've told you people time and time again, Italy is not a safe place for you to do <laughs> all these backyard businesses. You won't succeed. You will not succeed. Oh, you will not succeed. Even there are countries where you can go and even have more opportunities, maybe more time to do it. Or if you can repent, better for you. But you, you see this Italy. <laughs> you see Italy here. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. You will not succeed. This one is Ashish now. This one is fighting. Being naked in the public space and fighting too. Fighting police officers. And this one is selling Ashish. So which one do you even think is better? I don't know whether this one is running mad already or something. So hashish, hashish. Yeah, it is in Libya that I knew what hashish was. Just a little thing like this. They smoke it. I don't know where they are discovering all these things that people take just to get high. A part of the powder done or Igbo. Even Igbo, Igbo, Igbo. Igbo is in or better. Between Igbo and hashish, which one is better? <laughs> which one now should I try? <laughs> Make my head no go cool. All right, guys. So that is it. Let me know your opinion in the comment section. I would like to hear from you. Share this video to others. Let them stop these crimes that are putting us in a mess. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.